Hi guys, the 25 began with pure wala from start to finish. It felt like two days squeezed into one long dramatic episode. I called Dogo at about 7 a.m. Someone else picked the call. They passed the phone to him, and all I heard was we are rushing him to the hospital. Omo, my heart flew. Dogo had just been hit by a car on his way to the workshop, and his leg was broken. Village people are already trying me in 4K. They went straight for my most important player. I rushed and immediately he was conscious and getting treatment. So now Dogo is officially on timeout. But God no go shame us. Back up landed. Samuel, Dugo's younger brother, stepped in. This same Samuel handles my oil change and busy car maintenance, so I trust him. I took him to the workshop, laid out the entire task list, gave him funds, then headed to the office to begin the battery build out as planned. Meanwhile, I called Emmanuel, my main welder. He's been tied up with another project, which is why Romanos had been filling in. I told him to buy two mm steel sheets and electrodes and meet me at the office. He had absolutely no clue what he was coming to do. He arrived and I dropped the bombshell. I introduced him to a whole new world of metal work. Laser cutter, flux welder, TIG welder, a brand new high powered electric angle grinder. My guy was shook. He said he had only seen these tools on TikTok, never taught them in real life. His excitement was funny and awesome at the same time. I explained the plan. We are building the custom battery box. We agreed on the dimension and design and it got to work. And I got busy soldering wires for mounting the three phase converter. Then a client called. His old inverter had died and was in blackout. He needed an urgent replacement. So I paused everything and rushed to the warehouse to pick up one. Inverter secured, I dashed to the workshop, mounted the converter, wired everything, throttle included, and got the keke ready for movement. Still no batteries, so I tested it directly to the solar panels. Moses arrived just in time and boom, I had a test driver. He climbed in and touched the throttle, and the keke moved. Still tethered, tires flat, but it moved. I wrapped up the connection, dismissed someone for the day, dropped him off, and then rushed back to the office to meet Emmanuel. The battery box was already taking shape, but something looked off. The height looked taller than the 7 inches we agreed on. I measured it and I was right. It was off by 3 inches, so I told him to cut it down to size. The new tools made him work faster and cleaner than ever. Before long, we were almost done. While he welded, my brain went into overdrive. I started making live modifications, how the box opened, where quick access points should be for maintenance. I had to slow myself down, because this is just a demo box. The next video will carry all the special features I'm cooking up, including the unique selling point for this old battery system. We eventually called it a day. I might come in on Sunday to finish the soldering. The box still needs painting and flood proofing before I install the battery cells. That's a Monday work. See you guys on day 26. Bye.